Good morning, folks. To say we've got a full slate of news today just doesn't really describe it. Hope you're awake. Here we go. We're starting at spaceweathernews.com, and finding the last day on our star was exceptionally quiet. Dark coronal hold continues turning through. We've had no sunspots and no solar flares, but the plasma filament activity kicked up a notch with minor eruptive behavior and increasing population. The real space weather story, however, was in the plasma stream. The solar wind electric field intensified due to the coronal hole's outward magnetism, and we have the quintessential coronal hole stream impact here in the solar wind. Middle panel in orange. The density rises first as the fast coronal hole stream catches up to slower solar wind particles out ahead of it, bunches them up like snow on a shovel blade. That creates the density bump. Afterwards, the faster particles arrive, below that in purple, along with the temperature rise at the bottom in green. The phi angle of the solar wind whipped around in blue, and up top we see the intensity of the BZ rising, and that increase in general solar wind pressure caused a brief geomagnetic storm last night. I saw dozens of you posting the app alert to your Twitter and Facebook accounts within minutes. Very well done there. And based on the magnetometer readings, we were about half the storm intensity needed for noticeable effects. The stream should last a few days at these higher intensity levels since that coronal hole is still facing Earth, but we are more focused on the seismic risk now, which has numerous indicators, including these interplanetary magnetic fields, pointing towards the end of this week for the next lithospheric uptick. Let's go to the weather, where from the UK across to Scandinavia, they're taking a heat wave in the middle of winter. It is not quite stacking up, however, to the snow and cold in the Americas. Unfortunately, more is on the way to enter March here soon. But the biggest story is in California. Flood stage of the Russian River is unprecedented and the residents are being told to pack up and leave. Unfortunately, that is the best advice given the precipitation has no plans on stopping. Let's go to a bombshell. The story begins at the sun and it ends at the moon. And it turns out that we have crustal magnetic anomalies on the moon, just like we have on Mars. They are using these to explain the presence of the swirls and discoloration over magnetic regions known to exist on the moon, saying they have spent millions of years modifying the solar wind impact to the lunar surface and creating those amazing features. Well, the other option is that they were created quickly and that the lunar environment, like Mars, preserves the evidence. Denser solar wind plasma or nova shell ejecta embedded in the surface, that's another terrific idea. Bit of an FYI, top volcano of the 2018 year in terms of stratospheric injection is now officially known to be from Vanuatu. While this one received less news coverage than Hawaii and the deadly volcanoes in Indonesia, it was in fact the number one producer of volcanic stratospheric aerosols in the year. Next, let's jump to spaceflight. I have long said that even with 1960s technology, Gold foil and helical wire and pipe wrapping around the fuselage would turn any spacecraft into a Tesla coil that could make its own magnetic field that would match the dangerous radiation influx. Well, it turns out that if they had superconductors back then, there was a much easier option involving stacked toroidal field protection generated by a device within the craft, rather than the craft itself. Either way, this idea that we can't go through the Van Allen belts needs to leave our heads because it is one of the worst conspiracies killing the community's credibility, and that's a fact. So let's move on to stellar evolution. Boy, oh boy, does this need work. And there is a spectacular literature review that breaks down the deficiencies and unanswered questions in the field of studying the entire life of stars. The paper is technical, but readable. I caught Lawrence Livermore National Labs pumping the great 1970s climate reports that changed the world, 40 years since their 1979 release, and they want to note the anniversary. I could not possibly let them off the hook without reminding you that that was also the year they silenced the sun. 0.1% solar forcing change over the 11-year cycle was solidified in 1979, and they have never revisited the notion that our star does more than just blast out ultraviolet photons. Folks, I don't usually share all of the wild explanations that they're coming up with lately for why dark matter is so confounding to them, but I can't pass this one up. So why do galaxies seem to abide by different mass and dynamics rules regarding dark matter content? Well, let's just let dark matter only scatter when it hits certain energies. That way you don't have to be bothered by these problems in dwarf galaxies and the like. They can just say that dark matter is behaving differently in those galaxies because of their energy levels. Sure, why not? Last but not least, a share from NASA that is much, much more than it seems. This article is about colliding galaxies, but they chose ARP 86, as in 
Halton Arp, as in the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies. While there are unquestionably still a few hundred galaxies that mainstream science admits are anomalously redshifted, may have intrinsic properties. This right here is where ARP gets no love from science, because where they say these galaxies are colliding, ARP likes the ejection hypothesis, one shared by plasma cosmologists and holographic universe proponents like Douglas Vogt. Website members, I spoke with the space weather legend briefly this week, little deeper look posted for you with confirmation of the modern cosmic ray maximum at Earth. Also, if you missed the full Nova panel, it is posted in the deeper look section as well. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.